everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm recording a video on the Lunar New Year update, which came out February 19th on a Tuesday, um, which would be the 5th. Um, so before I get into the game and show you all the new objects and all the stuff in Create a Sim, first I'd like to um, tell you about a tweet that um, Kate posted right before... Um, the uh, update. So she said, yes, you read that right. We have a patch tomorrow. It will arrive at 10 a.m. Pacific time and include some big bug fixes. And it says, goodbye stinky leaf piles, which means I don't know if anyone remembers, but I surely do. The leaf piles from Seasons, if you have Seasons, and they would just stay there. Like you couldn't get rid of them. They just stay. Normally, like, they were meant to go away. They, like, when they first came out, they were going away and all that. But they didn't at some points. And she also said, and some cool Lunar New Year themed goodies, which we will all show off today. So there was a live stream. If you haven't seen that, um, just search it on YouTube. It's every, it's, you can find it pretty easily. You just look up a uh, Lunar New Year update. Um, also, there were a few shirts that came out, like this black one. Um... And then there's another shirt that came out, and it's white, and it's got all the little packs on it, so you can see all the little packs there. Um, so it's really interesting. I will see you in-game. Okay, so here we are in-game. Um, these are a few of the things that came in the update. Put a little kitchen set, because there are new food items. Super exciting, I know. So there's this Year of the Pig I believe it's called the Year of the Pig statue. You can pause the video and read the description there. I don't really want to read all these descriptions, if I'm completely honest with you. So its original size is this. Um, you can see all the different color things here. There are a lot of good colors. I personally like the red one. I think it's really cute. Um, there are. This is the original lantern. I'm sure if you have The Sims, you've seen this color. So, so that one, but they added, which when I watched live stream, I was like, they added a color? Yes, they added a color to an existing thing. So, honestly, if you can add colors, why don't you add colors to things that need more colors? Just, just a little, little tidbit. Um, this also came in the update, but it doesn't have any other colors. So, yeah, there is this lovely little tree here that comes without the little, uh, number these little things that here that are wealth of the moon envelope they do have a few other designs on them um so there's pot color changes just them with other little things there um also first base game table to be in here the ba first base game six seater circle table um, there are a lot of lovely colors on this, too, um, that can go in a lot of good builds, especially the red. I mean, it is a Chinese type of thing. Uh, I believe they all match with the table here, too. Um, there's a little thing here, if you would like to read, I'll, that's the description of the table. Um, that's the, this is the description of the chair. Um, and then this is scene of the perpetuous moon. Um, you can read the description there as well. Um, this is also a new toy that kids can play with. It's the moon panda toy. Really cute. Um, and this is a basket that has, these all have different colors as well. And this toy has a few colors. Um, I like the white basket. Probably because it matches with the table. The white basket, the red bow. Um, also, a few other colors. But that are, that, that are, that is all the items. What I have to quickly do here is someone's got to get the home style cooking skill. There we go. Um, so, he's going to cook a few of the things here. So these are new things. Vegetable dumplings. He's going to cook those up for us. 
Um. He's going on the back of the counter. <laughs> it's not how I imagine this happening. Uh. Yeah, so these were these are Sims on the gallery. They were made by Maxis themselves. Um, so yes, it's very Sims team made it. I'm not sure which guru made it for sure, but I know one of them did. So we're going to have him cook this up here. And then when he's done, he also... We might need to have him move stuff, but... He also can cook the... Mud carp, which you have to have cooking skill level 7 to do. That's why I leveled him up. I wasn't sure what level, though. And for the um, dumplings, you only need level 1. So, and the vegetarian, which is really nice if you have a vegetarian soon. Um, yes, to mud carp here. Gosh. Um, <laughs> just have him cook big ones, I guess, just so we can see the full thing. Um, this here is what they look like. Um, yeah, he's going to be like, why aren't you moving things for me? Yeah, I know, sir. Zoom. Uh, so, this is what they look like. They're a little, they're clipping right now, but they look really good. We're just going to have her grab a serving. Just to watch her eat it. You know, Sims 4, mukbang, mukbang, whatever people say. Um, it looks like dumplings. Um, and this is what the mud carp looks like. I never had mud carp, but that doesn't look appetizing to me, nor does it look like the best food they've ever made in The Sims. Like, I don't like the little- why- why stripes? Like, why- what's the red? What's the red deal? Um, but, um, I would- I would like to thank you, uh, for watching this, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye, everyone. If you would like to look at The Sims for Cats and Dogs playlist, click at the top right. If you would like to subscribe, click at the bottom right. If you would like to see any of my other videos, click to the left. I hope you all have a nice day, and I will see you later. Bye.